Well, the Liberals may be gaining a little, but as we've seen, the Conservatives are still rolling along as the leaders. But today, the strategy of tightly controlling the Prime Minister's public appearances may have taken a hit. It appears that overzealous officials in his campaign have ejected people from Tory rallies, in one case because of a Facebook photo. CTV's Roger Smith has the story. As a first-time voter checking out the leaders, Awish Aslam went to a liberal rally and got a picture with Michael Ignatieff. But when she went to hear Stephen Harper three nights later, she was kicked out, a Tory official citing that photo she'd posted on Facebook. He was like, you know what, we have enough protesters outside, we don't need you in here. I was really shocked and embarrassed. It was just a really bad situation. Two men were also booted from that London event. And in Guelph, two students at this non-partisan get-out-the-vote rally were later kept out of Harper's speech by a party organizer, even though they'd registered to go. He just tore the sticker off my chest and off of my friend and said, uh, you're not welcome here, so please leave the premises. Ignatieff slammed the Tories, saying if it's come to that... You're in a very bad place. You're in a very un-Canadian place. But Harper passed the buck. You know, the staff runs our campaigns, and I can't comment on individual matters like that. His communications director did apologize to Aslam, but denied the Tories are combing through Facebook to weed out undesirables. I'm, I'm not aware of, of such combing. I'm not, I'm, not aware, I'm not aware of How such things. Like many front runners, Harper campaigns in a protective bubble, tightly scripted photo ops, supporters must sign up for rallies in advance and get screened when they arrive. Critics say it's too much control. I think it says something about, uh, about uh, Stephen Harper and his administration, and it's not pretty. The problem for the Tories, the tight controls designed to prevent controversy on the campaign, but the extraordinary lengths they're going to has become a controversy itself. Lloyd? Thank you, Roger. Roger Smith with the Conservative campaign tonight. In other election notes, NDP leader Jack Layton is promising to help the so-called sandwich generation, referring to those who have to care for young children and aging parents at the same time. Layton made the announcement in Winnipeg, promising a loan program to help upgrade homes when elderly parents move in, and a tax benefit for those who have to care for older family members. And Elections Canada, with an eye to the future, believes online voting could increase voter turnout, especially among younger voters. Less than 40% of the under 40s voted in the 2008 election. But they shouldn't hold their breath. It's hoped that Parliament will allow an Internet voting pilot project at colleges and universities by 2013.